Rendering a scene with a high quality lighting setup can produce a highly realistic rendering of that scene. However, in the real world, lighting can have very subtle effects on a scene. Not just light from traditional sources, but also from reflected light sources in an environment. All the light coming from all around an environment in the real world contributes to the illumination of an object within that environment. One method of simulating that lighting phenomenon is to render a scene using what is known as a high dynamic range image or HDR image. An HDR image is different from a standard JPEG in that it contains considerably more image information. A typical digital image contains 16.7 million colors, which is comprised of 256 levels for each red, green, and blue value, more than enough to look like a true photograph. An HDR image contains pixels of which the colors are defined by using a floating point number for the red, green, and blue values. This effectively provides an unlimited number of colors available in the image. But what makes it high dynamic range is that the image is creating using multiple exposures, from underexposed to overexposed, and several in between, allowing us to adjust the exposure of the image as we choose. Let's work through adding an HDR environment and light to a simple scene. Open the file Chapter 6 HDR Jade Vaz 01.max from the Chapter 6 subdirectory of the Scenes folder. This opens a simple file that we can use to add an HDR environment to, along with a skylight that we'll be able to use as an HDR light source. Currently, the scene has one spherical area light illuminating the vase. Click Render Production to render the camera view. While the rendered image does look good, the lighting is flat and the reflection in the vase lacks any visual detail. Close the render frame window. In the Create panel, click the Lights option. From the Lights dropdown, choose Standard. Click the Skylight from the Object Type rollout. In the Top Viewport, click once to place the skylight into the scene. With the skylight selected, click on the Modify panel. In the Sky Parameters is where we can specify an HDR image to be used as the source for the sky color. In the Sky Color area, click on the Sky Color option. This allows us to select either a solid color or use a map and decide how much of the map is used over the selected color. In this case, the value is set to 100%, which will use only the map and none of the color value. To add a map, click on the Map button labeled None. From the Material Map Browser, open the Maps Standard rollout and double-click on the Bitmap selection. In the Select Bitmap Image File dialog, click once on the Studio Light HDR image file. In the lower left of the dialog, click on Setup to open the HDRI Load Settings dialog. This is where we can adjust the exposure of the lighting in the HDR image. To adjust the exposure, click and drag the Log Value Spinner up to increase the exposure value and make the image darker. Or drag the spinner down and lower the value to make the image brighter. One important thing to notice when increasing and decreasing the exposure is that different image details become visible at different exposure levels. For the lighting in this scene, set the log exposure value to minus 1.5. We also need to make sure that the internal storage option is set to real pixel 32 bits per pixel with the default exposure deselected. This will use the image as a floating point image within 3ds Max. Also make sure that Display Scaled Colors By is deselected. Then click OK. In the File dialog, Gamma Area, change the option to the Use System's Default Gamma. Then click Open. In the Top Viewport, 
select the photometric light object to the lower right of the vase. In the Modify panel, in the Light Properties rollout, deselect the On checkbox to turn off the light. Now re-render the Camera 001 view. Once the rendering is complete, you'll notice that the lighting is much more realistic than it was before. However, the lighting still looks flat. Close the Render Frame window. In order to fix this, open the Compact Material Editor. In any view, reselect the Skylight object. Click and drag the Studio Light.HDR map from the Modify panel, Sky Color, to an open material slot. Make sure Instance is selected in the Instance Copy dialog and click OK. This will transfer the map to an available slot in the Material Editor and allow us to make changes that will be reflected in the scene. In the Coordinates rollout for the map, change the Mapping option to Environment. Change the U offset value to minus 0.1. Go ahead and re-render the scene one more time. Now the lighting looks like it's coming from a specific light source. There is still one problem though. The vase has no reflections, causing the surface to look rather dull. In the Material Editor, there is an Environment Background Switcher Map that is preset with the high resolution version of the same map we're using for the lighting. From the Rendering menu, select Environment. You may need to move the Material Editor and the Environment dialog side by side to work with them better for this next task. Click and drag the Environment Background Switcher Map from the Material Editor to the Map option for the Environment Map. Make sure Instance is selected in the Instance Copy dialog and click OK. Now re-render the scene one last time. Pay attention to the reflections in the vase. They now accurately reflect the environment around the vase and give us a more complete scene. Go ahead and save your file.